we were speaking about the relationship between mysticism, the Rosa Gushin teachings, consciousness, and everyday life. Many people, perhaps even most humans, uh, look at everyday ordinary life as a fairly stressful thing and um, fraught with danger and chaos. And undoubtedly, in a man's earliest existence, uh, that was surely true. But today, most people still view life that way as life is kind of a struggle, etc. Uh, could you tell me how? Consciousness, particularly through the insights, through the Rosicrucian teachings, help produce a more harmonious existence in one's life on an everyday basis. Yes, I'll be happy to. Um, one of the most important things that is introduced to the student in terms of having some solid and harmonious idea about life is to introduce the subject that there are laws that govern the universe as well as human. There are certain laws that bring about certain conditions. And one of the, one of the most important laws that the student realizes is that my thoughts are extremely important. When I think, the thought seeks to manifest itself by cosmic law. It is introduced into the, the universal mind and it seeks to manifest itself. So if I think negative thoughts about conditions or, or about individuals, that thought, whatever it is, seeks to manifest itself in reality. And you also become a part of that negative thought. Hence, when you begin to feel negative, you become aware of what thoughts have I put out there. Have I put out negative thoughts? Or have I put out positive thoughts? So realizing the laws that govern humanity and govern the universe, we avoid anything that violates those laws. Because we, we don't, the, the effect of those laws will reflect itself in our lives.